this is Lori Magnuson at Stamp Sunshine on Facebook and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a card featuring Love of Leaves Bundle and the Love of Leaves Bundle is um, included, includes, excuse me, this stamp set as well as a die set and um, this die set has really cool features in that there is stitched edging around it and stitched edge, stitched embossing on the center of all the leaves, as well as this cool stitched element that you can add to your paper, which I'm going to show you today on this card that we're making. Um, um, what you need if you want to make this project is very vanilla cardstock. You need, you'll need a piece of gold foil, a little strip of Mossy Meadow cardstock. This was embossed using gold embossing powder. You'll need a piece of our uh, scalloped lace trim. And the ink colors I used today are, um, what are they, soft sea foam, bumblebee, and crumb cake. And the last thing that you'll need is a piece of the cardstock from the six by six um, plaid tidings designer series paper that I cut here for the bottom half of the card. Okay, so I have had to hear that. The next thing you're going to do then is to pop up this layer of very vanilla cardstock. Now, I wanted to point out, when you do die cutting and embossing, you want to look closely at your images and make sure that you're getting the correct image on the top. The correct image is just cleaner and uh, more detailed, and it's um, going to make a difference with the final look of your card. I'm going to use the last little bit of these dimensionals. I don't like to throw away the edge pieces. Um, I want to use every bit of them. And so I'm just, I had cut around the edges of those so that I can use them up. This is, uh, has a little bit of a fall look, but not really traditional fall colors. I kind of like muted colors like this one has. Um, you'll see when the card's all put together, it's just a softer look. All right, so I'm going to take my cardstock here and I'm gonna go ahead first and fold my card so I can make sure that I get it even using a bone folder to really get a good creased edge. So I'm going to place this right in the center, leaving the same amount on the top and the bottom and on both of those sides. And I'm going to put the embossed part at the top. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is kind of lay out my elements because I wanna decide where I want them to go. Now you might need to trim off some of these bottoms. In fact, I think I will because I don't want them to show underneath my um, sentiment there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim those now. All right, so what I wanna do is just lay these out kind of where I want them. This piece of lace is going to go underneath there. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and adhere my sentiment. And I'm gonna pop that up with dimensionals because I want to be able to stick the leaves under the edges, okay? So let's go ahead and get some dimensionals on that. I'm not going to put any dimensionals on the middle because that's where my leaves are going to go. All right, so I'm just going to try to center that as best as I can. 
I think that's pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and put my lace on now too. And what I would recommend is using a glue dot for your lace. This is two-sided. I really don't know that there's a right side and a wrong side, but I'm just going to use a glue dot on the right and the left. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that under the edge of my sentiment. I think that looks good. And then I'll take the pretty little leaves and I'm just going to lay those down flat. With some glue. And get my glue to come out. There we go. It's one or the other, isn't it? Either it won't come out or it's going to gush. So I'm going to lay this one down flat right about here. Same with this one. You can pop these up if you want to. I think I will pop up the green one using a dimensional or cube. You can really see the detail on those stitched embossing centers. I just love that stamp set. I thought Stampin' Up! did a really good job with that. All right, I'm going to pop that one up. I like the way that that kind of has a little bit of a forward motion there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is you can either pop up this leaf or you can just glue it on. Use a glue dot or a piece of glue. And this was made on the gold foil paper, which is beautiful. Put that over on the edge. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do is um, use my Take Your Pick tool. I'm going to pick up these tiny little shimmery gold, glam gold glitter enamel dots, and I'm going to put those onto the front of my card. Let's see. One there. Getting these puppies off is half the battle, right? One there. And then I think I'll put one more down here on the side. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks pretty. All right, and there you have it. Isn't that pretty? Muted colors, not quite the bright foliage of typical fall, but still very pretty. And I really love this um, stitched layer here. All right, and the last thing I wanted to mention is that this uh, sentiment here was stitched with, or was made using this punch. And um, the punch is... Um, featured in our catalog and it is what is it called um pick a punch <laughs> sorry pick a punch and it has different edges there that you can add to your project all right thanks for joining me if you'd like to place an order then you can go to my stampin up website lori magnuson dot stampin up dot net or you can find me on Facebook at Stamp Sunshine. Thanks, have a great day, and send those cards.